In these wet lands, a guanlong, meaning crown dragon in Chinese, is patrolling in search of a meal. It's a small theropod of about three meters long and weighing about 125 kilograms. Like most small predators, it is constantly looking for food. Its small body burns calories fast and is continuously in need of nutrients. Usually, it looks for small reptiles or mammals, but this time, it's a bigger animal that shows in its path. Another dragon. A hidden dragon. This animal also has a distinctive skull, but it is much different from Guanlong's, the Yinlong. The Guanlong has detected the scent of the small herbivore and is now getting closer to it. The attack has been dazzling. However, the arms and defenses of both are quite limited. But these two mark the very beginning of several million years of lasting adversity. Guanlong is a primitive tyrannosauroid, a proceratosaurid. It was relatively small compared to the other large theropods of its era, such as Metriacanthosaurids. It is well known for its crest, but it had already had similar features as its large and more famous cousins. The Yinlong's resemblance, even though distal, still is more obvious. Its skull already has the characteristic shape that will be inherited by its descendants. Throughout the end of the Jurassic and the beginning of the Cretaceous, these groups will diversify and get bigger, giving rise to deadly and unique features. these desolated dry lands, a Tyrannoceratops, a two meters long Ceratopsian. It is grazing on equisitum, commonly called pollstands. Although it isn't a favorite for today's grazing herbivores, at this time, it was an important component of herbivorous dinosaurs' diets. Studies showing silicate within hadrosaur teeth reinforces this hypothesis, as well as the fact that equisetum were highly nutritious compared to today. In this arid place, vegetal diversity is low and animals are quite specialized to digest specific varieties of plants. This environment poses many other challenges to its inhabitants as well. The temperatures here can reach near 60 degrees Celsius. In this region of the planet, the sun rays strike the atmosphere almost perpendicularly which decreases its dissipation on Earth's surface. Thick skin is the best protector for the local fauna, but at the hottest periods, it isn't enough. This Timolengia died by dehydration coupled with intense insulation, like many of the animals in the region. 
Meanwhile, the lucky Tyrannoceratops has found water in a safe place. But nothing was really safe out there. Safety is just another mirage in here. At night, the temperatures drop low, which allow predators to look for food. In fact, now that the air is cooler, predators lose less energy chasing their prey. Tyrannoceratops' main predator here is called Timolengia, a Pantyrannosaurian tyrannosauroid. Its morphology shows that it highly relies on speed and ambush strategies. It already looks like a juvenile Tyrannosaurus rex, but it's still rather small at only 4 meters long and 250 kilograms. Dinosaurs were very probably warm-blooded, and so thanks to the latest infrared camera technology, we can get a clear view on what's happening in the dark of night. This herd of Desahara Titanus is benefiting from this large oasis. This species has been discovered only very recently, and is the first Lancosaurian titanosaur found in Asia, widening the range of a group already present on the other side of the planet. Those creatures have few to almost no predator and are virtually invincible at their adult age. However, the harsh environment and the droughts can often take the life of the weakest. Now, Tyrannoceratops is the most vulnerable. It will only rely on its smell and hearing. Whereas Temelengia has a better night vision. But if it stays silent and still, Tyrannoceratops can increase its chances of survival. This adolescent individual, though, isn't aware that a Temelengia has detected its presence is now following its path. Unfortunately, it is doomed. Thankfully though, the Ceratopsian reproduction cycle is quite fast, which allows the species to thrive even in such harsh conditions. Analysis of Temelengia's relative skull and inner ear canal show that it was a very agile creature and was adapted to hearing and communicating low frequencies. Its sharp teeth testify to a pursuit hunting habit, as well as a great ability to slice through meat. But these anatomical traits are like often only transient. As an early Tyrannosauroid, it indeed looks quite close to a juvenile of the Tyrannosaurus species. However, numerous traits are still different. Twenty million years separate are the two. As for Tyrannoceratops, it has acquired the basic Ceratopsian morphology, the horns and the bony frill. This powerful arsenal will be preserved in the anatomy of its relatives.
These dragons of the sky, called Geosternbergia, have assembled to mate and pass on their genes onto the next generation. They aren't the largest with their wingspan of about 7.25 meters, but surely impose their presence in the skies. It is thought that they may have been polygamous due to the large difference in numbers between males and females, and their important sexual dimorphism, with males being larger than females and awned of a large crest. Crests are a common display structure in such animals, playing an important role in distinguishing a healthy suitor and increasing the chances of finding mates. This male has a harem of five females that he constantly supervises from this cliff. But unfortunately, many are not as lucky. Young individuals lack the size or experience to properly compete with more seasoned males, while older animals are too weak to participate and no longer impressive enough to garner the attention of a mating female. Since the last period we visited, Tyrannosaurids have drastically changed. Some have reached enormous sizes already. These giants, representatives of the group, and rulers of the region, are called Lythronix. Their large size and intelligence suggest that they live within a social group with an important bond. This season is extremely important for the female, as she has no offspring. The previous one unfortunately did not survive the unexpectedly harsh dry season. Patrolling the area for food, they are determined to mate and ensure their descendants. After all, the female will have to raise her offspring alone. These majestic animals are called Diabloceratops. They are heavily armed and result of millions of years of natural selection. They too are huge, 5.5 meters in length and 2 tons in weight. For safety, they also live in a group. But like each year, the season brings changes to it. Two months have passed, and the young maids are in the age of competing, with the dominant one having to quit. And so the population has slightly diminished increasing the chances of attack. The vigilance of the group is at its highest. The two dinosaurs have mated, and the female now carries eggs that she's waiting to lay. But before that, she has to ensure the presence of a good quantity of food near her. And she aims for big game. The male is now gone, so the hard task relies on her alone. She has a herd of Diabloceratops in sight and is looking for the weakest of them. The group is rather small, thankfully, but unfortunately, no youngster can be seen. Dominant Diabloceratops smells the presence of an intruder and is alert. The 
The male Diabloceratops has put himself between the harem and the predator. And he is determined to protect it. The response to the attack has been fatal. A horn has perforated the carotid artery. The female Lythronax is dying from severe blood loss. For her, it is the end of a life, but also an entire dynasty. Geostenbergias possess a notable sexual dimorphism, with an important difference in size between the sexes. This is an argument to a probable polygamous model. This indicator is very often tied to such a mating habit in today's species of mammals and birds. Lythronax, however, was a large animal, and probably more socially intelligent than the Tyrannodont. This suggests monogamy, and a bigger bond between the members of the couple. These tyrannosaurids reached huge sizes and acquired important anatomical differences with their more ancient cousins. Ceratopsians also got bigger and acquired a more complex shape, making them not just hard prey, but also extremely dangerous animals that could easily kill if crossed. This agile creature is a member of the Tyrannosaurid lineage. It is four meters long and has sharp teeth that could shred through meat. Its cranium is narrow and its eyes are placed in both sides, giving him a panoramic vision. Even though it is a tough predator, in reality, it is just a very young individual, an individual of the last species of the lineage. The mother is three times longer and weighs around nine tons. The adults emit infrasounds to communicate, which can be not only heard, but also felt. The vibrations travel through the ground and can reach others far away. The youngling, however, still has small vocal cords and makes more acute sounds. The hearing of the Tyrannosaurs is, for this reason, extremely well developed. But it isn't the only sense that is. Its eyes are positioned in front of its skull, allowing not just an astounding vision, but a three-dimension. This is undoubtedly the apex predator of not just the region, but also of its era. Tyrannosaurids aren't the only ones to reach enormous sizes. This huge male Triceratops is 9 meters long and weighs 8 tons. He lives alone, but still, the predators that try to attack it are very few to none. Its head is deadly and could kill in just one charge.
It feeds on horsetails, but also angiosperms, which appeared 72 million years before its time. And feeding is what it spends most of its time doing, as it needs a significant amount of calories to survive. It is the wet season, and thunderstorms as well as cyclones are coming from the Pacific Ocean, threatening to cause torrential rains. Mother T-Rex has lost its offspring from sight. The adult Tyrannosaurus is still looking for the young one, without noticing it's getting closer and closer to a full-grown Triceratops. The Triceratops charges on sight. Though the confrontation has been engaged, none of them wants to take the risk of certain death. Lightning has struck the female and put her on the ground. The Triceratops thankfully escaped, scared by the thunder. Surprisingly, she suffers no injuries and is able to get back on her feet. The youngster, however, died in the storm. But the juvenile Tyrannosaurus was part of a litter of two. In fact, the Tyrannosaurus has laid several eggs of which multiple have hatched. His brother has survived and is healthy, 
the lineage is still partially ensured. But this is still the beginning of a hard journey for this offspring. A journey to become the most fearsome predator of its dynasty. Ceratopsians and Tyrannosaurs evolved together for nearly 92 million years. They both became larger, more heavily equipped, and more complex, each to adapt and overcome the other. Both lineages lasted until the end of non-avian dinosaurs, making them one of the most successful dynasties in the animal's reign. The success of the Ceratopsians and the Tyrannosaurs resulted in a huge diversity among them. Ceratopsians especially count numerous amounts of different shapes of skull. Tyrannosaurs, however, still hold secrets about the distribution and role of feathers among the different species. In the next chapter, we will visit a place with many wonders we haven't yet seen.